Hey everyone, Jared here, and today I'm pretty excited. I am on my way up to a place where one of my friends work to go pick up my new Everything Attachments Wicked Landscape Rake. It's an 84 inch rake. I ordered it with the gauge wheels for the rear. Uh, I think I ordered it all black. So instead of having the implements shipped to a local freight dock, the freight dock is unfortunately like an hour away, minimum of 50 minutes, I think, but more so along the lines of an hour plus. But I'm fortunate enough that I, my local dealers helped me out and unloaded, but uh, I also have a friend who has access to a dock. So uh, she said I could just have the implement shipped there. She'll have one of her guys unload it. So that's what I did. It is super close. It's five, six minutes up the road and it showed up today. So we're gonna go up, pick it up, take it home, unpackage it. And uh, I'm gonna try it on the driveway a little bit actually first. So we'll unwrap it and uh, give you guys a walk around of it and a little bit of a first impression review and just a tiny bit of usage and then we'll get this video released. And then uh, based upon questions, input from you guys, I will do a longer, more in-depth review later uh, after some more usage is put on the machine as well. But uh, keep driving, we're gonna go pick it up and then we'll get it unloaded.
All right, everyone, let's do a quick walk around. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you the gauge wheels. So I ordered the optional gauge wheels with this landscape brake, and they're not inexpensive by any means, but they are pretty beefy and uh, they're quite the beast. I mean, they have a heck of a large bolt for the axle, enormous solid laminated rubber wheels. I wear a size 13 boot, okay? Not small by any means, and that is a big wheel. Nice big solid axle shafts there, or I'm sorry, nice big solid rotating spindles. Big heavy box tubing, very nice. So, all right. And here it is on the tractor. So this is a 84 inch, seven foot landscape rake. EA calls it their severe extreme duty version 3.0 okay so this one is the heavier duty version that does not have the offset the lighter duty version has a pin you can pull it and you can offset this whole rear beam over to the side uh, i wanted the heavier duty one so i didn't go that route but let's walk around and show some of the features though so obviously it is quick hitch compatible no problems uh, matched right up. It's got a floating top link if you're using a regular top link or solid pinhole if you want it to run solid. Both Cat 1 and Cat 2 Clevis style hitch. Solid Cat 1, Cat 2 pin. I have on here the EA bushings. They sell those. You buy them with the attachment and they're really not that bad in price. I ordered a bunch of those just to put on my different attachments. Makes the fit a lot better. It might be hard to see here. There's a little weld spot. And then right here you see steel going through. So that is what is called tab indexed manufacturing, okay? Fabrication. So these are all laser cut to ensure that all of these parts fit together in the right location when they're being welded. These guys don't have to worry about guessing where that brace goes. You know how this one where this one meets everything is tab indexed to make sure that it gets assembled and welded together properly if you've watched the ea video then you will know that they have a three degree bend right here on this plate okay what that does is if this plate was straight this tine would be supported all the way out on the top. That would not give it much or any really lift from the bolt here in order to be able to spring up. So given this a three degree bend here opens up this gap and actually gives the tine a little bit of room to spring up on the bolt instead of right at this point. These are 5 16 by one inch wide Italian tines, very nice high quality. Nice big bracket there where the gauge wheels will bolt. Simple pull pin for angling or rotation. Uh, earlier in the video you saw me dragging the driveway. I had it backwards just because I didn't want to do a whole lot of cutting, just want to do some light spreading. So I was dragging it backwards. Grease Zerk for the rotation pin. You know, that's nice, heavy quarter inch. I mean, nice, heavy, beefy mast. Braced, gusseted here for the upper part of the mask down to the main beam. This thing is just a very, very, very well built landscape rake. It also has a stand, which I didn't point out, but uh, you know, obvious, sticks out, right? Pretty obvious. 
So I've used, this is the first landscape rake I have actually personally owned, but I've used several. They're, the other ones I've used have been of different manufacturers and how well they work and what they're doing greatly depends on their quality and their weight. Whether or not you have bent tines that you're dealing with over time will also greatly depend upon the quality of the tines. So instead of buying an inexpensive rake, which I know I, a lot of people do just fine with those, I didn't want that. I wanted a nice heavy duty landscape rake with good quality tines that I can use for all kinds of stuff. I'm dragging gravel here. If I were to spin this or actually run it just like it is now, opposite of the way I was running earlier and I wanted to dig, this thing would tear up my driveway. If I wanted to prep for lawn seeding and it was super hard packed, I have no doubt in my mind that I can run this over somebody's fresh yard and rip it up, level it out, and get it prepped and ready for seed. So I wanted something nice, heavy, high quality, which is why I went with this one. And I guarantee you're gonna see this in more upcoming videos. But I'm super excited about this. I'm stoked, I'm glad I got it. I wanted to do a real quick short video and just show it to you guys and uh, show it off a little bit. You know, I'm proud. So do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. Let me know you like the video. Drop me a line down in the comments and please let me know what you think of this and whether or not, you know, do you have one of these rakes? Do you have a different brand? But, you know, let me know what your reason was for watching the video today. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a rake, if you just want wanted to see what this was about, if you're just a normal follower of the channel, uh, or if you wanted to compare this to your rake, let me know. I love hearing from you guys. But subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified of upcoming videos, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it, everybody. But have a great rest of your day.